cut that out. <laughs> maybe, maybe let's cut that part out. <laughs> it's funny though. Oh. Uh, okay, this has to be almost over, right? I feel like it is, cause like our legs messed up and everything. There's no way this this is much longer. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is good though, man. Freaking Outlast is amazing. <laughs> right. I'm still not Classic. sure. What? What the fuck? Whoa. I don't like how weird. it does that. Oh yeah, there's a church. My Miles is Miles is down in the basement now. He's looking at them peepees. Jesus, so yeah, dude, it really goes up in flames after Father Martin kills himself. Well, I can't say he kills himself, necessarily. He had the others do it, but... You know. Hey, this is the music from when he... When Father Martin kills himself, isn't it? Whoa! <laughs> Yo, it's Traeger! Nice. <laughs> I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. And not all of them attached to a man. Let's wrap this up and get back to the truck. You know what that means, right? It means Miles is about to turn to the wall rider, or he's already the wall rider. Yeah. Wall rider. Wall rider. All right. Hit the jump. Authorized to kill. Oh shit! Am I gonna have to sneak by? Hmm. What? Oh, I thought I was gonna have to jump. Is that poopy? Is that poopy? That's a lot of poopy. <laughs> you know, I gotta be honest. It's hard not to do baby talk when I talk to people now. Like, <laughs> I, it's never happened, but like, there's so many times where I'm like, like I almost do it. <laughs> Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure some event. <laughs> Jesus, to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Hornicky. From the structural and financial systems at Mount Massive, his advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among who he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper, and legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patients 143068, 142791, and 148681 have already been scheduled for transit. We've, we're already terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have com combed through Wernicke's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Warnicky has sufficiently distracted, sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirm, infirmity, to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploit of the resource is, our, our resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facilities is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff, so I can see what comes with my own eyes. Helen Grant. Hmm. So um. I think that sound means that Billy's dying. Um, I am not here. So, <laughs> sayonara, suckers! You remember that character from Fairly Odd Parents? The old dude on a bike who's escaped from the, the fun land? Fun oh, box, yeah. oh, fun box. It's small and square and short. Fun box, oh, fun box. <gasps> dude! Check out these little fun locks. Nice. Our boy. Oh, Traeger. We never had a close-up of them before. Little confab. Come on, they said cock and balls. Show it. <laughs> Wasn't he torn in half? And crushed by the elevator? Like, I'm not imagining that right. Wait a minute. Would this even bend the floor he was crushed on? No, it wouldn't have been. Yeah, no, no. Yes? Is this his floor? Because you, you know what I'm thinking, right? Because he, he was crushed on the floor right above the exit. Which was a floor down from his floor. I know Father Martin fixed the elevator, so he must have got him out, I guess. Oh. But still, I feel like this wouldn't have been this floor, though. I mean, unless this, um, yeah, because this is a different floor than the one that, yeah, this this has to be the floor lower than. It's just weird, though, because you'd think he would have been ripped in half, right? Getting, oh, wait, this is where I came from. Getting crushed by the, uh, the elevator. At least that's what it looked like to me. Hmm. 
Well, it was just kind of pinned. I guess. It just feels like, I don't know, it feels like it should have ripped him in half. At least to me. That's cool. I wonder if, like, the mountain over there, like, on the other side, if that's where the other stuff happens. Or it's just, like, a black site in the, near some other mountainy area. Right. I also, I forgot to look up if it's, like, post-Outlast or pre-Outlast. So, I can't wait for the Outlast Trials. Do we have any updates on that yet? I'm not sure. I'll have to check some time. Oh, dude, this is gorgeous. Like, we're such yeah. a, like, scary, spooky game. Glad we actually got some freaking jump scares. Like, there, I did get jump scared even <laughs> when we did play before. Even, like, uh, the, the thir third time I played it. But, like, it wasn't as bad. This one actually got me. Right. Hey! The... It's oh, this room! Oh. Somehow this is before the <laughs> blood got all over the TV. Oh, wall rider. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what's the thing? What's the sound Aaron makes? Oh, this is a different... <laughs> wah. Wah. Please help. Wah. Wah. I can't stop. Wah. Don't let her cross into this world. Um... <laughs> Well, yes. Oh I did my God, a dude! This same room tricked me again. This is the room. Oh. This is the room Miles sneaks in through. I wow. think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then this, this is normally closed. We come through. This is closed. Here's the shelving that takes us into the wall, the room where we meet Chris Walker for the first time. I think I could be completely stupid. To be fair. <laughs> oh, let me just close that. Yeah. Oh, so dude, but thinking about what that thing just said, um, the last paper, that means people stole some prisoners and something cool was going on with them. Oh yeah. Yeah, here's the here's where I got my first battery and file, I think, is Miles. Yeah, that's right. Um, oh, oh, here's, that, this is where I had to sneak through the, uh, the ceiling to get through the vent. And this is the bathroom the dude snuck out of. Yep. Now I finally get to see what's in here after I'm flying through the main game several times. <laughs> it's so weird these are bolted now suddenly, though. Like, I get, like, you're, you, they don't want us to go in here because it's like, oh, I mean, you've already explored these rooms, but it's like, why are they bolted? Yeah. Um. Oh, so this leads to the theater. It's closed off. Everything we've done is closed off. It feels so weird since, like, knowing this area as well as we do. Right. They're actually letting us... Oh, the room with the freaking dude and the spike. That's more bloody than I remember. Yep, there we got thrown over by Chris Blocker. Why does this make me feel nostalgic? It hasn't been that long since we played. I know, right? There's the room uh, the vent Miles came out of. God, what? I wonder, like, if, it, if people, like, who actually waited for Whistleblower to come out felt, like, nostalgic when they played this, too. It's like, this feels so like, cool. They play games and talk about all kinds of shit while they play. They're borderline psychopaths, but it's, like, my favorite content.